And in the U.S., uh, there's also strong concern over how far and with how much immunity police can push their sweeping powers. A one recent Human Rights Group report blamed law enforcement officers for tasering uh, 500 people to death over the last decade. And Tim Kavanaugh, the managing director of Reason.com, says for Americans, the first reaction to police is not trust, it's fear. There are questions about uh, are situations that in the past might have been resolved by, you know, let's hang back and, and wait till this person calms down. Let's, you know, uh, pick him up at the next block uh, after he runs out of breath or something like that become situations where officers clearly move in and just try and take, uh, you know, possession of a person in a way that they wouldn't have in the past. We have a lot of video of that. That is the big question. I mean, we, why do we have to have this kind of force against people who are not armed. It, one of the people is a guy in San Bernardino County named Alan Kephart. This gentle guy that, you know, the whole community knew him as, you know, like a, a, almost like a Forrest Gump figure. He was tasered to death. He was tasered 19 times by, uh, and, and the, you know, there, there, were, there were probes in his flesh to prove it. There's a civil case going on. The officers were all excused. All he is accused of, apparently, and the, the police reports are so opaque that it's been very hard to figure it out, but apparently all he did was honk at a sheriff who may or may not have cut him off in traffic. Having violent offenders afraid of them is fine. I, I don't know that all of the population should necessarily be afraid of the police.